Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to add the custom fonts in React Native. So, uh, here I have the Android device. So, let's see how can we add the fonts in fonts for uh, Android phone. So, first of all, just go through the uh, Google phones to pick any uh, better phones. So, let's choose. Uh, a font family from here so what is okay so we can use the open forms actually this is my favorite one okay select from the fonts and okay so okay so I can download from here yeah this is taking some time actually the font size is no too big uh, yeah let's open this file here uh, just go to the download and find the open sense here okay so I'm going to use light font so First of all, just just put it on the desktop. Now I'll tell you where we have to put it. Okay, so now just go to the Android uh, code. So here you can see that uh, we have some folders. Okay, so go to the Android folder and okay, just f uh, okay. So we we can go from here. So it could be easy for us to understand. Project, then go to the Android, then then go to the app and SRC and main. After main, we have the assets folder. So yes, guys. And if you didn't find the asset folder folder in the main, then you can create it. Now uh, I can create a new folder. Fonts. Fine for now. So I can copy from my desktop, copy from here and just put it here. So we can rename it. Uh, I want to make it, I'm, I'm going to remove the condensed light. So this is the open sense, just open sense for now. That's fine. Okay, now we have to add uh, some code in the package.json. This is the rnpm. So use the comma here. Now use rnpm with the quotes. And now just put assets, which is also come with the quotes. And now use the path for assets. So our path is assets then fonts. Okay, so we can confirm with that. Yes. I just put one mistake with the here. I had to use this one. I didn't put the uh, slash here. So that's fine. So now we have to do one thing. Uh, I have to go on the command prompt and I can stop the running npm and now I have to use react native run android okay before this I can put the react native link command to link the assets of which we are just add with that so it will take just few seconds but yeah this is scanned and everything is linked up now i have to use jack native run android so it will take just some time and if you want to wait you can wait here and if you don't want to wait you can skip the uh, just around 20 seconds or 30 seconds from the video okay 
uh, why we have to use uh, react native run android uh, again because uh, we are use we are uh, changing in the core files of uh, android so that uh, our react native need a new build which will add the new assets which is we add with the assets so let's wait for wait, wait for some time and it will it will give you just just it's ready for now within within some seconds so after that what i have to use okay so okay fine it's uh, open the application automatically and now i have to use font family and use some font name what what was that i actually forgot the font name but okay this is the open sense that's fine now save it and you can see the changes here our font is changed okay just i'm going to put some more pixel for better understanding i'm going to do it this is 28 so you can see that if i'm going to just comment it uh, the default font is uh, show so just uncomment it and see the new uh, open sense font so this is the very simple tutorial with the add a font in react native in the android actually so the process of ios is little bit different i don't have actually ios machine otherwise i can show you i'll i'll show you uh, just after some videos when i got uh, my uh, macbook here thanks guys thanks for watching uh, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and please give a thumbs up to the video and if you have any suggestions or any question that put put it in the comment section i'll definitely reply that to you thanks guys thanks for watching